All right, folks. Um, this is a 93 Cadillac Fleetwood. And I'm having my man, who will remain nameless because he likes M and, 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 and he likes being anonymous. So he's going to do a tune up. He's going to do the tranny. He's going to do the diff. And it's nice to have somebody who knows what they're doing doing it. Yeah. So. These are the plugs. Ooh, they're nice. And that's the air cleaner, which was, that's some sort of resonator thingy, whatever. Yeah. Oh, do I need an air filter? I probably do. Eh, it looks a little funky. No, oh, it's not a big deal, no. No, I do the important stuff like oil changes, radiators, bleed the brakes, that kind of stuff. Filters. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's another hose thingy. Ooh, look. It's a, a throttle body, right? Mm-hmm. 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 You'll just hear things like, mm-hmm. Two little injectors. Two little baby injectors. Ooh, and it's got a mechanical throttle. Wow. So I think we're going to do PCV valve, spark plugs, the usual stuff. Magic. So we'll get more video later. All right. We're doing the diff. Of course, you always do the fill plug first. Nothing's worse than pulling the full, draining it and then going, oh, I can't get the plug off. I've never done a diff rear end before, unless it has a fill and drain. And this is where it can get potentially weepy and wetty. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need the oil changed. That looks great. That looks like it's only like 27 years old. Oh, maybe it is a good idea to do it. I felt real confident about this one. I didn't bring any rags over. Oh, you didn't. I could have brought rags. I got a box of them in front of the car. I just didn't bring them over here. Oh. So is it a limited slip or a it open? It looks open to me. Okay. Now that's fine. Doesn't matter. It's a cruiser anyway. Ooh, plastic. Ooh, let's look at the diff pan or the I see a few sparklies and some stuff on the magnet. Can't imagine it's that big of a deal.
Yeah, it's sort of those mechanic things. They love cleaning off stuff. Out of their screen. So this cleaning stuff is just because that's the way you roll. Mechanics yeah. roll that way. Yeah, I don't get too carried away. Just enough to kind of get the debris away. Just get the gross stuff out. And then you'll clean the gasket surface real good so that it seals. And it doesn't really have a gasket, does it? Is it, it, had just... a, it had a felt or like a... Oh, it does? Yeah, a felt. You just R use RTV and that that's stuff? That's what I'm going to do, yeah. Okay. Let's now I'm going to go drain the... Head. Drain the... Ooh, tranny. we're going under the tranny. All right. Now we're doing the tranny. And I've been warned, and it makes sense, that this can get messy. So apparently I had to keep my mouth closed, which is not going to happen. Oh, it still looks a little pinky. It looks really clean. I'm sorry? It looks really clean. Good. I think you told me that when you looked at the dipstick. All right. I'm going to back up a little bit because as much as I enjoy fluids, I don't enjoy them that much. I like bodily fluids. Oh. Well, this looks like fun. What you're doing looks like fun? No, it looks like a bodily fluid. Well, it, so sort, of, it sort of does. Yeah, I'm trying to think which bodily fluid is. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, it's a sort of a pinky. I'm gonna let that drip for a while because I don't wanna make a big difference. You don't got like the splash thingy? Oh there we go. Timber. Just keep it in the bucket. That's never gonna happen. But it's good for the lift because it keeps it from rusting. Oh, this, is a rusty one. this is a nice lift. It's yeah, I'm so neurotic now that I actually put a jack stand when I had a lift like this. Let the fun begin. Oh yeah. I think I saw the pan move. So now from what I've seen, you have to sort of carefully lift it down so you don't spill stuff everywhere. And you're gonna demonstrate that. Slowly backing up, slowly backing up, slowly backing up. And only a little is on the floor. Only a little on me too. Yeah, but that's just way. Oh God, the fluid looks great. If that thing was further forward and I didn't have to work around the lift, I would have had that. Oh, I have no doubt about that. The As nice as this lift is, it's, well, it's better than jack stands. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna look in the pan and see what kind of schmutz it has. Oh, not much schmutz at all. Very clean. Somebody apparently took care of their tranny. Oh yeah. Daddy's happy.
right, the filter's out. It's sitting in there. Fluid looks good. The tranny is nice and clean. Yeah. So, it looks like the rear end's never been serviced, but the tranny this is my best guess. Looks like it's been serviced at some time in its life. And there's a little bit of grit. Did that so I didn't get a copyright strike. You don't like background noise? Um, some people get weird about the music. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll be turning it up and down. Okay. Sorry, I didn't even ask if this did. Man, you're good. It's like panning for gold. Mm -hmm. But we're not looking for any metal. Oh, you're looking feeling the RTV? Mm -hmm. It's a little old. But... Well, it's an old car. Oh, wait, it doesn't work that way, does it? smell of RTV. It's like napalm in the morning. I'm sorry? Might be a little much, but... Yeah. My understanding is like the RTV doesn't really care about a rear end. The rear end doesn't care about RTV. No. It's more a tranny issue. What an artist. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. So I, because we sprayed it with all that cleaner. Oh yeah, so it drained it all down? Yep, so I'll make sure I can wipe that out and get all the cleaner out oh, of it. Oh good, yeah, good point. And I'll just hose this down a little bit. I mean, I'm not getting carried away with taking a little grinder on this because this is pretty clean. No residue on it. Yeah, we don't want none of that residue. Well, I slipped into my southern phony voice, I don't know, but it just makes me feel like a killer. Alright. Alright. Open the cover. No, so we're about five minutes later since we put the RTV on the back of the lid or whatever we call it. Get a little squishy going. Stick a couple in. 
course, hand tighten it first so you don't do something stupid. Now, do you get worried about torque specs or do you just do it the German way? I do it the German way. Okay. The trans pan, I'll, I'll use my little tool here and start them all. And then I do them hand tight with a usually a quarter inch ratchet. Because when I've read about the transpans, they always want this certain sequence for tightening it and inch pounds or whatever they call them. I'm trying to see when it stops squeezing down. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see it squishes out. I start at the bottom and work my way up because if you got any imperfections, you'd rather be on top than on the bottom. Yeah, makes sense. Gravity. It very well could be the wrong theory, but it's yeah. worked for me. Well, I think a lot like medicine, there's people, you know, you come, you, you sort of have your routine. This is... 20 ways to do things. Yeah, we're discussing uh, the crazy German guys will actually put little zip ties here. And then, of course, the master man just uses the bolts, but he's got a nice rubber gasket, so it's holding the bolts in place. I guess the Germans don't do that. Maybe that's why they're no Maybe good they at- make their holes excessively large. Yes, they've got excessively large holes, yeah. And I hope I didn't get in trouble with the German community for saying that. Yeah. Ooh, look. Make sure that that O-ring came off of the old one. Oh, yes. I've heard that. Two O-rings are not an advantage. Unless you're looking at throttle or uh, speedo cables. Speedo cables? Oh, for... Did that always leak? Double gasket. Nada? Came out? No, it's there. I just got to get the right... It looks like it's in there. God, I'm having a PTSD right now. Post-traumatic dentist disorder. It looks like it's in there. Okay. That doesn't want to stand up. Yahoo! Should have got a... I usually drip a little fluid on it. Yeah, that's all right. You know, you're having to perform for the camera. This is not something normally you do. So I'm throwing you off I'm your game. I'm usually in, in the garage by myself. Yeah. You got that performance anxiety, like being on stage, giving your first speech. That looks like it'll work. He'll be back. He promised. Oh, you're looking feeling in the RTV? Mm -hmm. It's a little old, but well, it's an old car. Oh wait, it doesn't work that way, does it? Ah, the smell of RTV. It's like napalm in the morning. I'm sorry? Might be a little much, but yeah. My understanding is like the RTV doesn't really care about a rear end. The rear end doesn't care about RTV. No. It's more a tranny issue.
What an artist. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. So I, because we sprayed it with all that cleaner. Oh yeah, so it drained it all down? Yep, so I'll make sure I can wipe that out, get all the cleaner out oh, of it. Oh good, yeah, good point. And I'll just hose this down a little bit. I mean, I'm not getting carried away with taking a little grinder on this because this is pretty clean. There's no residue on it. Yeah, we don't want none of that residue. Well, I just looked into my southern phony voice, I don't know, but it just makes me feel like a kid. All right. All right. Open the cover. Yeah, we're discussing uh, the crazy German guys will actually put little zip ties here. And then, but of course, the master man just uses the bolts, but he's got a nice rubber gasket, so it's holding the bolts in place. I guess the Germans don't do that. Maybe that's why they're no Maybe good they at... make their holes excessively large. Yes, they've got excessively large holes, yeah. God, I hope I didn't get in trouble with the German community for saying that. Yeah. Ooh, look. Make sure that that O-ring came off of the old one. Oh, yes, I've heard that. Two O-rings are not an advantage. Unless you're looking at throttle... Uh, speedo cables. Speedo cables? Oh, Does for that always leak. Double gasket. Nada came out. No, it's there. I just gotta get the right. It looks like it's in there. God, I'm having a PTSD right now. post traumatic dentist disorder. It looks like it's in there. Okay. Should have had a usually drip a little fluid on it. Yeah, that's all right. You know, you're having to perform for the camera. This is not something normally you do. So I'm throwing you off I'm your game. I'm usually in, in the garage by myself. Yeah. You got that performance anxiety, like being on stage, giving your first speech. That looks like it'll work. All right. I'll be back. He'll be back. He promised. Folks, it's fun to watch somebody with experience do something. Because if I were to do this, which is sort of a given, it would probably take three or four days. And I'd be consulting YouTube, making phone calls, having sleepless nights. Yeah. And people under, under, wonder why mechanics are so buff. Well, we've got a six pack abs. Yeah, right. Well, when you got your head off the ground like this and you're doing a sustained lift, you know, it's like going to the gym every day. Looking good. Well, I think this will help the caddy, the 93 caddy, Fleetwood, have a long and happy life. Something will break on it before the tranny or the diff. 
But it's a 5.7 liter, it's a 350. I think they made about 100 billion of these things, some variation thereof. Don't like the feel? Sweet, pan on, video off. And now something everybody hates doing, which is filling differentials or manual transmissions. Of course, yeah. Can't bring a whole body into it. And I've seen ones that are actually pressurized. Look at all that clean fluid. That life-saving, clean fluid. The fluid that will save your lives. Because I don't know what a rear end would cost on this thing. But removing it, reinstalling it, that, that costs money. And then it wouldn't be original. All right, the second load. Yeah, this is another one of those gym exercises. Yeah, it's a very advanced one. What you do is you do a continuous sit up. You have your head and shoulders off the ground and then you take the plunger and push it against your belly. He wants to see it drip out. I don't think it's going to. Ooh. I'm going to suck a little air and see if you can push it out or what. You happy? Keep my finger in. Yeah, it's like really close. I don't oh, think I'm gonna put it. Good enough. I'm gonna leave it like that only because the thing's tipped like this and that's not its standard. Oh, right height? Right height. So it'll go up and then it'll level off. Okay. So it might actually be a little overfull, but. Well, are you gonna drop it to the ground and let it drip or are you gonna just we fill could. it and say we're good? We could. I could go get a bigger pan and stick it underneath here. Or I can bring cardboard. Cardboard is perfect. Cardboard is God's gift. Now we're doing the plugs. And the wires. And rumor has it, I've been told that this thing is really still very hot. Yes. Writing the numbers. And here's the firing order. I assume it must be routine for a 350, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Standard GM. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Thank you.
The plugs are now surrendering. I can find it. Somebody was marking something on it or something. Well, you can get your hand and the tools on there. Uh, I don't think the cars are designed that way. It's one or the other. It didn't feel very tight, did it? You know, maybe because the car is really old or whatever, but you can definitely smell a little uh, raw fuel compared to new cars. It's a lot of yeah, not a precision injector. Spark plug down. Spark plug down. Ooh, and let's look at the plug. It landed directly on the electrode, so flattened her out. Oh, that's all right. Do you hear what I said? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, actually, it's tannish. That looks good. I'm doing good. Yeah. So, all the plugs actually look pretty good. There was one, this one, right here. It's got all the schmutz here which actually wasn't tightened down all the way, but the gaps are good. And the plug electrode thingy looks good. It's tan, so all good there. Uh, the rotor looks original. And we're swapping the wires. And the wires actually look pretty good. Nothing's cracked. Looks nice and shiny in there. Yeah. And we're marking the cap. And we've got the new rotor sitting in there. She looks pretty darn good. I think the cap's been replaced, but the rotor was not. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. My basic rule with a used car is change all the fluids, all the filters. Assume it wasn't done right before you got the car. It's a whole lot cheaper than having the car towed. <laughs> 